Hi everybody, Robert Jones in the kitchen. I am alive, I swear. I have been busy, 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 busy uh, all through October working on my cookbook and finally yesterday printed it out, made some final sketches on the papers and sent them off to get the first edit. I'm very excited. Uh, sorry I've been away for so long, but I'm back. And in being back, I thought I'd set myself a little challenge to do video-wise. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. Here is some pictures of uh, the tea collection that I have currently in my home. And you can see there's a lot of tea. But here's my challenge to myself. My challenge is to make a tea video every day in November. Of course, I'll be doing other videos as well. But I want to get through lovely tastings of tea. I have so many. Uh, they've been gifts. I've purchased them. They've been found. They come from dead people. They come from all kinds of stuff. And we'll explain as we go along. But I wanted to start today with one from my sister Morgan. Uh, she brought me this a while ago and I just have not been able to get to it. And I'm very excited. It's a sticky honey chai. Um, there was a thing called a move and a year of uh, stuff in boxes and all kinds of stuff. She gave me this lovely uh, tea. It came with two two teacups, two special like Turkish style teacups, but they ended up in the Santa Barbara house and not here, but we're moving on because I'm excited to try this sticky tea. So let me tell you about this. Okay guys, so here is the T2 Sticky Honey Chai. Um, I'm laughing because the new Terminator comes out today and this is the T2. But anyway, it says that it is honey coated black tea and spices. So I don't know what those spices are yet. So let's check it out. All right, I'm just gonna read this straight from here. It says, tea to sticky honey chai. Hold your teacups, chai lovers. We've taken rich black tea, added toasted spices, then soaked it all in loads of sticky sweet honey to create a perfectly balanced and simply sensational chai dipping, dripping with richness notes of cinnamon and vanilla. Um, then it has some information here. It says there is in two teaspoons, 250 milligrams, 10 grams, energy 70, Kilojoules, I guess 17 calories. Interesting measurement there. Um, blah, blah, blah. You can see the rest there. It also says how to brew in a saucepan. In a saucepan? Hmm, interesting. Place two teaspoons of sticky honey chai with 250 milliliters or 8.4 millifluid ounces of milk. Heat while continuously stirring. Strain into a cup for a less creamy brew. Use an evenly split ratio of water and milk. Oh, okay, so I totally didn't prepare the milk, but I do have milk, so we'll go from there. All right, let's see. Black tea, honey, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, natural vanilla flavoring, ginger, and salt. Made in Australia. Local and imported ingredients. Store in a cool, dry place. Refer to barcode for best buy date. Um, it's been a while, so I'm not going to. It's tea and honey, and both of those don't really spoil, so I'm excited. All right, so let me reformulate my plan and let's follow the instructions on here and make some chai tea. Ta -da! And we're back. So I'm very excited. Um, let me change the camera around here again and you can see how I'm gonna make this. Uh, we'll follow the instructions on there so we get maximum potential flavor. And so that if you wanna try this, you'll know what I did, right or wrong, and then we'll give us some tasting. All right, let's brew. All right, so here's what we got going on. I got the tea, I got a tea ball infuser thingamadob. Yes, it's brown, it's got patina, and I like it that way, so no comments about that. I love this thing. It's like Pac-Man. Okay, the first thing it says to do is to put 8.7 ounces, which in this case is going to be just over one cup. You can see it here where my thumb is. So let's do that. I'm using lactate which is lactose-free milk, which is just what we happen to have in the house because we have somebody who is not lactose-friendly and it doesn't make any difference to me. So just over eight ounces there. And now I'm gonna go pop this in the microwave. Now you may be questioning my microwave use, but let me tell you, for dairy products like milk, it is a really good thing. Okay, so, and I don't have to watch it on the stove. So I did pull the tab on this. So here's what we've got, Let's see if I can show you this. Um, it just looks like black tea and you can see there's a cardamom pod in there, which is, this is kind of a pain in the booty. So let's see if I can either put this directly in 
I don't think that's gonna be very feasible, but get some, a scoop of this. Ooh, it is super sticky looking. Super dark and rich. Oh, making a mess. All right, put some in there. Get some more. I don't know who designed this bag. There you go, you can see the, you see the tea? Put some more in there. Smash it down a little bit. I think we're almost there, making a mess. There's some, there's some cardamom. Okay, I don't really like this bag, but. Oh, milk's done. All right, so I think we got about two teaspoons. Put that in there, clean this up. Let's get the milk. All right, so the milk wasn't quite hot enough yet, but I wanted to show you this. See if I can get it to focus better with a brighter contrast. So you guys can really see what the tea looks like. So if it's, it's shiny because it's sticky with honey, but that's a cardamom pod. You can see a clove right there. This is the black tea. I hope you guys can see that. I'll blow out the color for you. Okay, we've gotten our milk nice and hot. Um, the microwave is great for dairy products. You don't have to worry about scorching. Um, maybe you can see the steam. It's kind of put the bag there. You can see the steam But yeah, all right, so we've got our two teaspoons of goodies in here, and we're just gonna Pop it in there and get all the air bubbles out It's important to get good contact with the milk All right, and how long does it say to steep this does it say? It does not say it says heat continuously stirring and strain so we're doing it a little bit differently but um, I have faith. All right, so I'm gonna go put three minutes on the timer and we'll be right back. And go. All right, you guys, we're back and I have been uh, stirring this every once in a while and pulling the milk out like this. We're almost at our three minutes. Uh, the milk does look darker and three minutes. All right, set that aside. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this. I think it looks pretty good. It uh, looks like a light brew. It doesn't look real dark. I also bought some specialty cups, some uh, thermosy kind of cups. You can see it's a double walled teacup. And I got these uh, specifically so I could show you guys each day when I'm doing tea so you guys can see what it looks like uh, in the brew. So uh, let's pour this into here. Do, 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 do. Maybe cool it down a little, a little chihuahua style. There we go. I was curious how much these held. All right, that looks like a glass of milk, but in reality, it looks a little bit darker like tea. So let's snap an Instagram and let's go give it a taste. And we're back. All right, you guys, yes, I'm letting my hair grow a little bit for the month of November. At the end of November at Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, I have a hair appointment with my super dude, Sean, down in Santa Barbara. So I'm excited and I'm not doing anything to it then. It looks a mess and my eyebrows are growing and that's why Raccoon is calling me the owl these days, but that's how it goes. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? I have a special. It's tea time. It is the moment you've been waiting for. Woo. All right, you guys, let's get some tea in. I'm not quite sure about this format yet, but we'll get there. All right, so check it out. I got the tea in the cup and I'm excited uh, that you guys can actually see the color of this. Boop -a -doo. It's afternoon now. Normally I film in the mornings, but whatever. All right, so <sighs> super hot. Let's set it down for just a minute in the moment. Just to remember, this is what we're trying out here. This is the T2 Sticky Honey. Oh, and uh, again, thank you, Morgan, for this tea. Other sisters, others teas are coming. All right, let's see if this is cooled down a little bit now. Um, feels good. Okay. It smells like chai tea. Now, if you know me, I love chai tea. I actually sell my own brand of chai tea. You can check out my Etsy store if you're interested in that. Um, so I'm curious about this. Um, I'm also curious because this does have the honey in it already. So I'm curious to see how strong it's going to be. I'm guessing it's not going to be very sweet at all because two teaspoons with barely any honey touching them is not going to be a lot. But all right, let's give it a try. Mmm. That just warms the cockles of my heart. Yes. It's a little warm. I need a napkin. That's better. I feel like I got mustache milk. Nobody likes mustache milk. All right, so here goes the review. Okay, it smells delicious. You can lightly smell the honey. It's not very spicy. Mine is much more spicy than this. 
It's a little bit sweet. And lactate tends to be a little bit sweet anyway, but so there's not a lot going on here with this honey. So I kind of wish there was more honey. Um, I feel like this is a little gimmicky having it all in one, but that's nice. At least you get like all of this stuff in there. And if you were going to travel or you're going to take this to work or something, you wouldn't have to have all your different accoutrements on your, your honey and your chai and your sugar or whatever else. It's all in one package. And that, so that's nice. Um, it has a nice tea flavor. It's hot. I think I would brew it a little bit longer. I like a little bit darker tea. I like a little bit more flavor. So I might actually put the, uh, the wand back in here. Still feel like I got milk. Um, but yeah, this is good. This is nice. Um, I would give it like a seven. It's a little gimmicky for, for me, but I think it does have a good taste. And I think that honestly, um, I keep looking down at the tea bag. Um, I think honestly, they're trying to make a good product. And, and so this is it. I don't know anything about the company T2. Um, I, if you are in Australia, please tell me, what do you guys um, think about this company? Is it a big company? Do you guys deal with it a lot? Um, I haven't seen any of it here in the United States. Um, but I am excited uh, to get this. Oh, you'll be glad to know that it is indeed still in date until May of 2020. So that's good. Um, uh, it's called T2PTYLTD. And it is from Collingwood, Victoria, Australia. I didn't look, think to look on the bottom here. They also have shops in London, Auckland, and Singapore. There you go. All right, you guys, there's my review of the T2 Sticky, Sticky Honey Chai. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Robert Jones. I just wrote a cookbook. It's not out yet, but it's coming. Just want to let you know about that because I'm feeling very proud about that. Um, if you enjoyed this video or if you like taste test videos, hit the subscribe, hit the like, come on back for more. I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.